Leave a comment because it helps my videos and it helps me pump these out more. Yo everybody, it is Rock of the Great coming to you with another toy review. Now in today's toy review, I'm very excited. I am a big, big Dragon Ball fan. I love Dragon Ball Z, I grew up with Z. Dragon Ball is a lot of fun. It's very weird, it's very silly. But I love it, and I even have a uh, Dragon Ball, you know, a Kid Goku tattoo on my leg because I think he he was really uh, fun in in the first series. You really get to. You get to see the type of person Goku is. I love Launch. Launch is great. When I saw this figure, I got so excited. I, I, I just couldn't wait to open it. So I have this figure and I have some other Dragon Ball figures. I think I have every Dragon Ball figure that exists in my collection. Let's take a look. I was very excited for this and uh, I'm sure it won't disappoint me. So here we go, Tray Shot. Perfect. All right, now I was pretty sure I bought two of these because basically it is two different characters. For those of you who are just watching who are unaware, she sneezes and when she sneezes she becomes blonde launch and she's all tough and then when she's normal she is just this blue hair really cute uh, like normal sweet girl but you know it's funny all the Dragon Ball figures come with a Dragon Ball that are, are shiny and look like these and uh, launch comes with the number one Dragon Ball so that's good so for hands we have two gripping hands we have a gun holding hand right here that it looks like the gun slips into we have just a uh, it looks like holding the gun from the other side so that's good and then on the figure we have two fisted hands so that's nice um, a smiling happy blue launch a sneezing launch face, which you need, of, I'm so glad they included that. Regular launch head on her right here. Got this cute outfit. Now what I, I saw people doing was, they put launch's head, this sweet launch, they put her head on, on like just other manga bodies because, uh, <laughs> she, yeah. Just, just because you guys, if you watch the show, oh look, her hair has articulation too. I have to say, this is a very sleeper. You know what it is too with the characters that they might not think will sell well. They have to go a little extra to sell you on them, which is good. Now this is the head that I'm gonna probably keep her on until I get a double, or maybe even put this face. So the angry launch or blonde launch comes with this smirking face, and then the angry face, which she's always angry, okay, so they got that right. Let me see this, let me pop this head in there, please. Let me take that face off. I don't, that's the thing with these figures, I never wanna take any chances, like, you break a figure arts and you might as well go back to bed. You know what I mean? Just start your day over. So let's pop her, her head in here. Oh, please, please, please. Don't let me have to heat this up. Yes, okay, I got it in, but please guys, just heat up your figures, don't be like me. Don't take a chance because, you know, you break your figure and it sucks, you blew it! You blew uh, I'll take the smirking away and it's just since we have her hair off already, I'll change the face. Here we go, we have the angry face looking to the side and then here we go, we got the hair. Let's change the hands. All right, pretty easy right out of the box, which is refreshing. So the hands are pretty easy to swap. I'm always worried. Oh, yep. Now I'm trying to think what other accessories she could have came with, uh, but I think as long as you have this gun, I think you're doing great. And then, yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, she holds everything perfectly. All right. So for articulation, uh, let's see what we have here. The leg moves up pretty good. Single jointed knees, but you do get the same range of motion as double jointed knees, which is nice. Uh, a little bit of a thigh swivel. Uh, where's the ankle? So good ankle pivot. Decent up and down. We got toe articulation, which was nice. Really nice ab crunch. Single jointed arms, but again, same almost as double jointed for figure arts at least. And no butterfly joints, but basically she gets every pose that you'd want her to get in. All right, and here she is, a little size comparison with some other Dragon Ball figures. We have the Bulma, and we have the Goku. I think this is the exclusive Goku, which should have been just the normal Goku in his normal outfit. I'm still waiting for a fat Goku. This is like, he's too lean. It doesn't really capture that Goku from Dragon Ball. He was a little short, stubby, fat, uh, ch chunky chew, if you could, if you uh, would consider that. 
Uh, but it looks good. Everything's looking good. I'm, I'm still liking this. I want them to keep making Dragon Ball line, so let's keep moving on. I would say this figure is really nice. I really like it. Launch is a great character. If you don't know Dragon Ball, you should definitely go check it out. This figure is a must get for me. I think what I was doing was I was waiting for Amazon to have a sale. Usually, I learned with the Dragon Ball female figures, especially the not well-known ones, like not everybody knows and likes launch. Uh, I'm gonna probably wait for this to go on sale to buy another one so I could have two launches on my, you know, both color hair on my shelf. So let me know what you think. Do you like Dragon Ball? Do you like Dragon Ball Z? Do you like Dragon Ball Super? Do you like Dragon Ball GT? Which one is your favorite? Uh, I, I have to say Z and Dragon Ball, you know, obviously, but I couldn't, I, for different reasons. To me, they're both two different, they're very different animes. Uh, thanks for watching guys. This was Rock with the Great. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comments really help the video. So if you could leave a comment right now, write anything you want. It really helps. See you guys in the next toy hunt. Bye guys. Perfect. Hey guys, Rock with the Great here. Thank you guys for watching. It's really important if you follow me on my social media, you can follow me on Twitter, at Rock with the Great. I just made a new one, so if you could follow, that'd be great. You'll never miss a notification when I post a video, when I go live. Twitter is really good for notifications. And also, if you like me, if you like my posts, you want to see more of my art, you want to be more in the know, I have two Instagrams. So my main Instagram got deleted for some reason i don't know i had a lot of followers on there i made a new one and i made two new ones just in case so at rock with the great 777 and at rock with the great x follow me over on instagram let me know that you came from a youtube video i post a lot of stuff on there and uh yeah look i got my new goose fob and neon sign goose fob is my art character if you didn't know that welcome to the channel thank you guys for watching i just wanted to throw this in there and uh whatever video you're watching make sure you hit that like button leave a comment it helps me out it helps the youtube video out and let's get to the next video bye guys Hey guys, want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel.